Hi, it's me, Fly Bear Ox. And nice to talk with you again. Uh, today I'm going to share why I'm going to design a picture by painting through a photo. Uh, we can see from the iPad this uh, a fish pond uh, full with the fish. It's probably a fitting time, so each, fi each fish you can see a big mouth floating parts of the head over the surface of the water. Now, we have a problem because we cannot see the depth. We cannot see a vertical space in this picture. But we can see a lot of fish, and each fish, they have a different reflection light. So, when we are going to analyze a photo, probably we can start from this, from the reflection light, because it covered almost the major surface of the painting. The first thing we can see, the reflection light, they have a certain pattern. From this part, they come from the light. So we can see the reflection lights come with some cooler blue with the titanium white and they mix the very smoothly. And they don't have a very sharp edge, just a piece, maybe a block of the color. And it come closer to the left and we can see the ripple creates some reflection light too. And the fish head itself, because the surface are of the water, so the connection, the connection between the fish head and the water, we can see a reflection light here. And the reflection light is also like a ripple. The ripples just come maybe a little bit warmer than this blue color. We could we could use serene blue mixed with titanium white, so we can mix and find this is cooler blue and this is medium blue, so that we create the color temperature difference in between. The other one from the fish head, because the head is a roundy one, it gives the people the audience is a confessed sense, a sense of a confess. It means this object. It's floating over the surface and that got some reflection. And the reflection light is different with this one. We can see from here, the reflection light is mixed with some local orange color. It's probably a cool orange color. So this means that the head is very solid with the reflection light on, on this part. So we look down through the from this side, from this corner to this corner, then we can find the color of reflection lights change. Even the ripples, the ripples they have the blue, but it's much more warmer than this one than this one. So we can compare each color, then we can miss some warmer, like a ultramarine blue with titanium white, and then we put on the ripples, and some parts we put on the reflection of the each fish. It shows that this is a confess conscience. This sense of the confess means that the fish top is over here and here is the moss. So we have the color temperature design from warm to cool, from close to far. So we give a very very subtle change of the feeling of the space. This is how we create a horizontal space. All right, we have a horizontal space. Now we need a vertical space. Vert vertical sense is means, means that overlapping is much more easier. For example, like this fish is overlapping that one, and this fish a part of that overlapping this one, and this fish overlapping this one, but it is too obvious. We need some subtle change and much more entertaining to show something very, very subtle so that people will stand in there and looking for the crew to bring them all oh, here, like we got some more, something more here. Right, the first thing we can find is how to create a vertical one. Create a vertical one, the first, we means the confess is the first vertical one. It means it's floating over, floating above the water. And the second one is here because the fish 
We get a ripples overlap the each fish. Some part of fish, some part of fish, and some part of fish. We can see the ripples have a continuous line over the fish body. So we can see fish head is above the fish the uh, ripple. Ripples is over the fish body, and we can see here we put some grayish cone face. Sense. The grayish warm color that will usually bring the people like this is something like a like a hole, like a, a concave, the sense of a concave. It means that something inside here you still have something to look about. It's not com completely too, too dark. It has something like a, like this one is a little bit cooler dark. And here is a warmer duck. And also inside the duck, in the between, we also create the horizontal space difference. So have the conclusion now. We have a horizontal space creating by the color temperature, and we have some feeding of the vertical space. First, we can have the each fish head has a seeker we call the edge, a seeker paint. So the seeker paint, that means that it is much closer to us. The second one is overlapping from ripples and the fish body. That is the second space and the concave. The concave sense, that means that we are using an unsaturated color, more grayish, without a color. And that the grayish color is something, sometimes it's cooler, and here it's warmer. So we have a vertical space. Okay, so we are not going to painting a visual reproduction only. We are creating something using the color difference, the temperature difference, the feeling of the vertical sense. We are using a perspective, a little bit perspective, like uh, overlapping from ripple to the fish head, fish body, and convex sense. So all these combined together, we create something. We are creating object inside a space, not to copy an object. So to creating space is much more important. It means that we deliver some special feeling of the painting. And that is far more beyond just only a space we should, because we also looking at the environment and make the environment combine with the object and make them feel like inside the same space. Okay, that's what I'm calling this called concept, concept painting. Okay, today we just will, will be finished here and uh, we will see what we are going to paint about. And now we are going to paint about a bigger size. There's a 72 times 60 centimeter. It's no longer small one. Uh, I usually paint on 23 times 34, something like that. So that is probably four or five times bigger. And I will put in another time lapse video and share with everybody. Welcome to Firebell Art. And if you have interest, uh, I have a dot com. You just Try I uh, just key the keyword is fry bear uh, fry fries means frying okay bear animal okay uh, dot com uh, fry bear art uh, sorry okay I'm missing the art fry bear art dot com then you, we have uh, about probably couple hundred videos that showing the technique both in English and Chinese and in time lapse and the slow motion one to show in uh to show how. I design a picture and change how to draw it and change to the painting. Right. Thanks guys. Uh see you guys next time. Bye.